You have to make a commercial um, to promote Latin America and its literature to your peers, colleagues, classmates, friends. And you are only allowed to use two words. Which words would they be and why? I would why? use discover and then explore. Mm -hmm. And discover because, you know, where did Latin America come from and how did it come to be? It's uh, something that, you know, it's a question that you can answer by going, you know, searching what it has to offer. And um, you want to see what it's all about. And then you want to explore it. Where did these authors and these works of art come from? And where did they get their ideas? And it's an interesting take on the world because it's, you know, in a sense, like I mentioned before, there are similarities and differences between North America and Latin America, but there are a lot of differences too that you can learn from and you can take lessons away from I'm them. I'm going to say beauty and culture. Um, and I say those two because the beauty of the Sp of Latin America is every, even though everyone speaks Spanish, there's so many different cultures. And beauty kind of ties into that because there's different beauties of each culture that makes it, uh, that makes it unique in its but own. With Latin America, you have so many different, these cultures, these dances, these foods, the architecture, literature, you know, the art, there's so many things that make culture one. It's a very broad word, but with the beauty with that, yeah. It's self-explanatory. The Cuban people have salsa, the Dominicans have merengue and bachata for that reason, but there's still Latin Americans, Latinos, and that's what makes Spanish culture so special. Emotion and creativity. Mm -hmm. uh, emotion because there's something about Latin American literature that, that really captures um, emotion in a way that you don't really see elsewhere, that there are such these, these dark and gritty and, and um, you know, visceral images that are that are found throughout so much Latin American and literature. Yeah, there's this spin on it where it doesn't seem as bad. Mm -hmm. uh, there's always there's always kind of this light at the end of the tunnel in in Latin American literature that I think is really it's really unique. Uh, and creativity, just because of the amount of different mediums um, literature that can be uh, just found in Latin American literature. That uh, you know, there's we studied uh, poems in different forms that were in different shapes. We we studied. Um, sonnets and uh, chapters of books and short stories and poems and um, just the amount of ways that one can get a story across and even in a line or two lines or an entire book it's it's something that uh, I think is really cool. I would say surprising and sincere mm -hmm. because um, not only do the plots often surprise me but it surprises me how Really, authors just say what they feel. Oh, yeah. Even Sor Juana, who was in the Baroque period, where there was a lot of censorship and you had to kind of hide what your real intention was, even she really comes out and just gives a criticism on society. And it really shocks me to see authors be so forward. And even in other authors like Gortazar, it always surprises me how he decides to take the story and run with it and what direction it plays out in. And as far as sincere goes, that definitely plays in hand in hand with the whole um, the surprising element whether it's with uh, Marti, who had a lot of political issues, and a lot of the authors definitely had to give a criticism on what was happening in their country at the time. It's, I think there's definitely a, a large element of honesty that prevails throughout all of the pieces we've seen. Uh, the words that I chose were magical and historical, because uh, many of the pieces that we read had elements of magic to them. And not only that, but when I think of magic, it, it's a happy feeling, it's a creative feeling, you know. There's so much that goes into a story, so much creativity, and uh, it's really unique. And I chose historical because many of the pieces that we read have a lot to do with the time frame that they're set in. You almost can't understand a story without understanding the time frame that it was written in and where the author lived and how they lived. Could you tell us those words? In Spanish. Cultura y belleza. Descubrir and explorar. Y explorar. Emoción y creatividad. Mágico y histórico. Rachel. Sorprendente y sincero.